no wanted posters. Just a bunch of boxes filled with office supplies. If I ever need to find evidence, I'll need a key. They look sturdy enough. Mm -hmm. Too heavy to carry around. An axe, a sled, a computer monitor, probably. photo of the sheriff shaking hands with some bald guy in a suit. It's probably the mayor. Mm -hmm. Just some photo. I can't see it clearly from... A gold medal. Hello, sheriff. My... If you... Do you know anything about a weird <laughs> bald guy dressed in red around here? What the hell are you talking about? Never mind. Yeah, that'd be my reaction, too. Do you know what this is? Ah, it's just some kids playing pranks with flashlights. Okay. Do you recognize this flower? Matter of fact, I do. It's a local endangered plant with mild narcotic properties. Yeah? Have you come across any users in the area? Sure, but it's a bit tricky to do anything about it. Using it as a substance is technically illegal. Ah, so the illegal part is picking it in the first place. Yes, knowingly picking the flower is a crime, according to the Endangered Species Act of 1973. Gotcha, thanks. I probably shouldn't. He might ask where I got it. Hmm. Oh. I don't want to show him that. Wait a minute. That's all for now. Good. Is that a B on my lighter? My trusty Zippo. Running a bit low on fuel. There's a crude inscription, BH, which is a mystery to me. Girl, there's BH. The only thing my deadbeat dad left me. <sighs> she doesn't really connect that, so it, it's not it. Hey, Lenny. Hello, Kathy. What's up? Do you know anything about a weird bald guy dressed in red around here? You're joking, right? Oh, never mind. I already asked him about... Okay. Then let's well, go. Well, gotta go. See ya. Hmm... else could it be? Thick, dense forest. Oh, it's you! Maybe show lighter to Goober. Oh. You might be right. Okay, let's go. Phoenix are today with all the best ideas. All of them. Goober, mind if we talk? Shoot! Did the inscription on the ring look anything like this? Wow, actually exactly like that. It was the father. Great. Any idea what BH stands for? Beehive? Bet high? Big head? <sighs> <laughs> Ha 
Oh. Wait. Kathy's father wasn't the only guy who just mysteriously disappeared, wasn't he? Not just disappeared, but just took off. Okay. Okay, that's all. See ya! Now we got Hello, a question, Isaac. everybody, about I've got BH. A few more questions. I'm always. Do you know what BH means? It's inscribed on this lighter. I'm sorry. Well, probably that's Grandma knows, because that's her son. May the Lord shine his light on you. Maybe he inscribed his own. Oh no, but that can't be his initials because that would be BK. No, BR. It's Brian Rain. Well, maybe Lenny knows. Lenny knows everything. Lenny's our go to guy. Hey, Lenny. Hello, Kathy. Do you recognize the acronym BH? It's on this lighter here. Hmm, not really. Sorry. What good are you, Lenny? Well, gotta go. See ya. He's no longer our favorite go-to guy. Grumpy Sheriff, maybe. Hello, Sheriff. Mind if I ask you a few more questions? If you must. Do you recognize the acronym BH? It's on this lighter here. Don't you have anything better to do than to walk around asking people random questions? That's all for now. Good. See ya. Don't have to be rude about it. Um, we can ask Sue. Sue is the the best go-to person after Lenny. Well, now that Lenny's useless, might as well just be Sue. Because Sue's awesome. She's just badass. She's just doing her own thing. Oh, it's you again. Come on in. <laughs> Spicy says the sheriff looks fabulous sitting there. <laughs> he kind of does. I thought it was a badass chick at first. Well, there's that. I had a, a few more questions, Sue. She... I don't need to ask her about that. She's even more useless than Lenny. We can't even ask her about it. I think I'm gonna head off now. Sure thing, little cat. Um... Very lifelike. Contrary... It's an early painting... Hmm... Looks like they barely touched the food. Can I take the thermometer yet? It doesn't belong to me. 55 degrees. Not too cheap. Who else can I ask? Guess grandma. Or maybe on a tombstone. A person with those initials. I'm gonna go check tombstones next oh, if grandma hello, doesn't dear. give me anything. Mind if we talk? Not a Do you recognize the acronym BH? It's on Dad's lighter. Yes, dear, it means oh. the Black Hats. They're those ruffians on motorcycles whom your father is associated with. Oh, his biker gang. That makes sense. Biker gangs. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. What can you tell me about the Black Hats? I refuse to talk about those hoodlums. They turned your father into a horrible person. Okay. You should stay far away from them, Kathy. They're awful people, just awful. I guess that's the part we're gonna use our taser for the first time seriously? I guess? Bye, Grandma. I'll be back later. So long. No 
result for that. Mm -hmm. okay. Who could we ask about the biker gang then? Booger? Mm. Oh, the police should know ab all about them. Lenny, you can redeem yourself right now. Tell hey, me. Lenny. Tell me about Hello, the Kathy. bikers. What's up? What can you tell me about the black hats? They've caused us trouble from time to time, but they've been kind of quiet lately. We put a few of their captains in the slammer over the years, but we never managed to find enough dirt on their leader. Bo Brunson. Big Bo. Do you know where I can find them? Yeah, hold on. Let me just find a map. Lenny! Got it. Thanks. There we go, Lenny. You're being useful well, finally. Go. See ya. About that dinner you wanted earlier. Still no. Thank you for being useful. Hello, Sheriff. Mind if I ask you a few more questions? If you must. What can you tell me about the black hats? Why, you care to join? I'm sure they'd be real impressed by your big bike, but that's a man's club. Let's just say I have a healthy curiosity. I'd say your curiosity borders on mental illness. You have a death wish? Bikers don't mess around with little girls. You gonna help me or not, Sheriff? Not really. Go bother Lenny. <laughs> oh, man. That's all for now. Good. The sheriff, eh? Well, we unlock the new location. Oh, dear. We gonna get in trouble. Sweet bud incoming. Like hell I am. I'm nobody's property. You sure? Doesn't she look like a sweet butt? Little slut. I think she does. Where's my taser? Step off, creep. Or what? You tell your daddy on me? She flipped him off, badass. Or you'll be scraping your balls off the floor, you fucking pig. Oh, I love it when they play hard to get. Let go of me! God! <laughs> <laughs> oh. What the hell's going on out here? Nothing, Prez. Just having a bit of fun with this gash here. I suggest you leash that dog of yours. For fuck's sake, Prospect. Not again. Get the hell out of here. Sorry, boss. I'll go. Fuck. That hurt you, cunt. That escalated. He'll that really escalated. That. He better be. I take it your bow? I am. And who are you, darling? Kathy Rain. Bullshit. She lives in the city with a deranged mother. Who are you, really? Did the Vandals send you? No, they didn't. I am Kathy Rain. Prove it, then. Well, I would, but I left my ID back home. <laughs> That's convenient. I think I've wasted enough time with you. I need to figure out some proof. This proof enough for you? I'll be damned. That's Brian's lighter, all right. Sorry about the paranoia. We've had some problems with the vandals lately. I get it. Can't be too careful. So that's your ride out there. Corley Motors, right? 78? 76. You got the same taste as your old man. He always rolled Corley's. Probably the only thing he and I have in common. <laughs> you set up those mods yourself? Looks custom made for your, uh, small frame. Yeah, took some time to get the measurements right. 
I imagine so. Girls like you don't often ride heavy bikes. I'm not most girls. Ain't that the truth. Most girls don't just waltz into places like this, either. I guess you'd know. Yep. Anyway, I had some questions for you in the club. Go ahead, then. Your old man was a good brother, so I'll indulge you for now. Okay. We're gonna ask him questions. Tomorrow. Right, we were talking to... This guy. This guy. Uh, the Jolly Girl uh, Bikers. Black Hats. Do you know anything about what happened to Joseph Rain in 1981? No. We had our differences, me and him, but that's a horrible fate for a man. I'd rather be dead than a vegetable. So, I take it you and him didn't get along? No, I could write a book about that man. On one page, I'd praise him. On the next, I'd want to smash his skull in. He could be a real self-righteous prick when he wanted to, that's for sure. But everyone knew he was the real law around here. Truman was a tool. I respected okay. Joseph, and he respected me. But he hated how Brian looked up to me. Joseph always blamed the club for the path Brian chose in life. Even though it was just due to him being a shitty father. Ouch. You seriously thought Grandpa was a bad parent? Everybody knew about it. People just tend to forget the bad qualities of men in wheelchairs. Joseph wasn't a saint. He saw everything in black and white. He was only kind to whomever he considered to be good by his narrow moral standards. The ones who wouldn't fit Damn. in that small mold didn't get any chances. None whatsoever. Okay. Everybody kept praising him, but doesn't seem like he's so good. Do you so know anything good. about Lily Myers? Nothing that anyone else around here couldn't tell you. Do you know who Jimmy Cochran is? No. Tell me, how long have you been the president of this club? Fifteen years now, give or take. You paid for ten before that. Good. Then you can tell me why you stole Lily Meyer's paintings from Charles Wade in 86. I don't know what the hell you're talking about, but I'd okay. recommend you be careful with wild accusations like that. <laughs> oh, cut the bull crap. I know it was you. I did some digging and found evidence pointing to the club. Is that so? Better be a good girl and present it to the sheriff, then. I couldn't care less about ratting you out, Belle. I just need to know what you did with the art. I have no intention of discussing your delusions as if they were facts, girl. Don't make me tell you again. What can you tell me about the Church of the Holy Trinity? Do I look like a pious man to you? I've peed on churches. Oh well. What can you tell me about the Black Hats? Black Hats MC was founded in the 60s by my old man, my uncle, and two other local bikers. Conwell Springs is the mother chapter, and we have support clubs in six other locations across three states. There's a total of 16 members here. 12 patch, 4 prospects. I'm the acting president of this chapter, as well as of the whole club. Have been for more than 15 years. The law give you any trouble? It used to be tough when your granddad was around. He and Truman ran a tight ship. And now? Now they try, but Boyks and the boy are a nuisance at best. Man, I love the soundtrack of this game. This may be a weird question, but have you ever met a bald man dressed in red? I've made a few bald men red. I count. Okay. How can I show him red? I don't need to show him that. Okay. Hey, Bo, any idea of what this key opens? You ask weird questions, you know that? That's my speciality. Can I tase him? Yeah, that won't get me into trouble at all. No. I already showed that to him. Should you join me for a smoke, Bo? Sorry, darling, I'm trying to quit. Good for you. Do you know what this is? Whoa. What? Do you recognize that? I saw one of those with my own eyes a few years ago. Really? Where? Middle of the woods, the road of the city. 
Those things came from nowhere and gave me this crazy headache right on the plate in my head. At the time, I thought it was just a nasty case of migraine. You have a plate in your head? Yeah, titanium from a shrapnel wound I got in Nam. I see. Maybe that's titanium why he's isn't unaffected. Titanium is the least bit magnetic, is it? How the hell should I know? I'm no scientist. Do you remember where exactly on the road it happened? No. Like I said, I dismissed it as a migraine. Didn't pay too much attention as to where I was. Fair enough. Do you know anything about this flower, Bo? Do I look like a florist to you? Yes. Yeah, a little bit. <laughs> <laughs> Crack me up, girl. Me too, me too. All right, I'm gonna hit the road. Right on. I have some business to take care of, but make yourself at home. Thanks, Bo. See you around. Hey, Brian's girl. Oh, yeah. hello. I overheard you. I'm Emmett. Hey. The boss man isn't usually that grumpy. He's got a lot on his mind. But I think I may know of a way to loosen him up. Mm. I'm all ears, buddy. Well... Bo and Brian are the double B's, as we used to call them. <laughs> they used to have this drink together. Brian came up with it. He called it a Bloodier Mary. Mm, sounds like my kind of drink. Yeah, it's basically a Bloody Mary, but with pig blood instead of tomato juice. I take that back. Gross. <laughs> I'm kidding. It's just a Bloody Mary, but with a special ingredient added to it. If you say that special ingredient is blood, I will literally punch you. <laughs> no. Brian refused to tell anyone what it was. He only made it for special occasions. It's probably something uncommon, like a rare herb or some kind of expensive That's spice. Power. So let me guess. If I can produce this drink for Bo, you think he would help me out? It'll make him remember Brian. Which should go a long way. He hasn't had that drink since your old man disappeared. Brian was like a son to him. The boss would have died for him back in the day. If you could recall the good times with your father, he might change his mind. I guess it could be worth a try. But wait, why are you helping me? You're Brian's kid. That means you're family. We take care of family. Well, how was that drink compared with a regular Bloody Mary? Tasted a bit more like pepper and had mm -hmm. a punch to it. it usually yep, gave some the plant. pretty nasty hangovers. Oh, if you had a lot of them, you'd hallucinate some crazy mm -hmm. shit. Pretty wild. Trippy. Thanks. You're welcome, darling. Hey, Naima says, What is the star next to my name? Never seen that before. What happened? Oh, that's right. Somebody made affiliate. I wonder who that is. I don't know. I don't know who that would be. I guess I'll have to find out. Hmm. Oh well, I'm on this, officer. I'm on to this mystery. But yeah, I finally made affiliate. <laughs> yeah, I'm a cool kid now. Got my sunglasses and everything. Pretty cool. It's like, you know, kind of, you know, you don't want to say you're better, but, you know, you kind of are. <laughs> no, I'm kidding. <laughs> yeah, but thank you, Damus. Thank you for the subscription. Thank you for being here. It means a lot. Thank you for stopping by regularly. Without you and the others stopping by, I wouldn't have made it, so thank you. <laughs> bar. Let's because go grab a drink. These guys like to drink. Yeah. He's the bartender here. Doesn't appear to be a club member. Various pictures and mugshots of the club members. Some of them look pretty old. This club must have been around for a while. Hey, bartender, do you happen to know how to make a bloodier Mary? You mean a bloody Mary? No, this is something different. Afraid not, I can make your regular bloody Mary though if you want. Maybe later, I need to figure something out. All right then. That means I have to pick up that endangered flower. Uh-oh, I'm gonna get in trouble, won't I? 
I pool used to table. be a bit of a pool shark. Been a while though. We're gonna I play. Used to be a... Girl. You don't know how to have fun, do you? A member of this motorcycle club. I'd rather just talk to their leader. Fine. The black hats. I suppose the name comes from the old western trope. Also, how are you guys doing this Saturday? Any weekend plans? Or just chilling? Or Damus, are you gonna play WoW later? Tell me all of your plans. My father's <laughs> in one of these photos. I'm barely resisting the urge to rip it to shreds. 100% country music. Be still, my heart. Whew, out of order. My ears are safe. Probably just gonna chill, work again one Monday. Mm. Yeah, chilling sounds a good option then. <laughs> Wait, should I probably read the report? Book excerpt, maybe that's when she's gonna realize what's up. It's a photocopy of a book page with information about the red scythe flower. Here's an interesting segment. Another interesting trait of the red scythe is the smell, which is familiar mm -hmm. to that of a pepper. The pollen of the plant has also been known to cause hallucinations in concentrated amounts. Native American tribes harvested and smoked the plant for that reason, but the flower never caught on as a modern recreational drug due to the difficulty of growing it. So, will you have an epiphany now that it's the Bloody Mary? Or... Looks like a specimen of the Red Scythe. Sorry, endangered flower, but I, uh, I really need to make a drink. There we go. Mmm, congratulations, Deimos. Hitting that level 60. Nice. Nice. So what are you planning to play besides WoW? And when are you gonna start to raid? All of it. I'm really curious to see the raids. The vanilla raids. Oh, he's out. Is that a bad sign? Oh dear. I guess not. Bo Brunson, the acting president of the Black Hats. Hey, Bo, I have some more questions. I'm listening. All right, mm -hmm. I'm gonna hit the road. It's just later for. Ride safe. Or the drink, I guess. Okay. Make me a Bloody Mary, dude. Um. I don't see how those. I'd like a Bloody Mary. Oh, and add this, will you? Just something I like for flavor. Put it in a blender. Whatever you say. <laughs> sure. I'll just give you that weird plant. Why not? One Bloody Mary. Enjoy. Thanks, buddy. The club will cover that, Jose. Sure thing, VP. Thanks again, Emmett. You got it. Oh, Emmett is the vice president. Nice. Can I drink it? It's for Bo, not me. But I want to. Here's hoping it can make Bo a bit more cooperative. It's a bloodier Mary. Hey, Bo, I've got something for you. I recognize that smell. You found your dad's recipe. Something like that. Man, is this a trip down memory lane? I keep expecting Brian to walk in here any second. You know, all this nostalgia is making me remember how much I really owe your old man. Yeah? Yeah. So, here's the deal. In 86, Carl, my VP at the time, came to me and said he had a job lined up for the club. Some guy had offered him good dough for stealing a bunch of paintings from a mansion. He needed two brothers for the job. I was busy with other things at the time, so I gave my permission as long as the club got the usual cut. He returned a week later with a nice wad of cash. I didn't realize it was Wade he had knocked off until I read the paper. If I had known that, I'd advised against him. 
Wade is a powerful man with friends in city council. There's no reason to piss him off. Got it. So what do you know about the guy who hired you for the job? Not much. Carl said it was some bearded preacher. Whoa, Isaac from the Church of the Holy Trinity? Could be. I don't know who that is. It was a priest. I know that much. Thanks, Bo. I'm going to follow up on this right away. That's it? Dun, You're not going to ask me about what happened to your old man? No. I couldn't give two shits about that asshole. Bullshit. Don't expect anyone to believe you're that angry with someone you don't give two shits about. Either he's Fair dead enough. or he abandoned me. Do any of those options look appealing to you? They don't, but you should know that no one from the club had anything to do with it. I meant it when I said Brian was a good brother. He had no enemies here. Not then, and not now. Comforting to hear, Mr. President. <laughs> Shut up and listen, girl. I'm trying to tell you something. Brian used to talk about heading to Mexico, about riding off into the sunset and getting away from all his newfound responsibilities. And I think part of him was serious. You deserve to know that there's a chance he's still out there somewhere. Sure. Let's hope that bastard is living it up somewhere. <sighs> Just take care of yourself, you hear? You too. That day went by fast. I think I'm going to ask if I can stay the night at Grandma's. Okay. Thank you, Phoenixer. Thank you. Thank you for the subscription. You rock. <laughs> Keep on rocking. And wait. So Damus said... Oh, okay. Oh, girlfriend comes home in a week, so less time to play then. Fair enough. Oh, you couldn't play through the Metro franchise? Nice. Nice. I'm gonna tune into that. Mm-hmm. Wait, the Game Pass has all the Metro games? That's pretty cool. That is pretty cool. I just saw Exodus. Didn't see the first ones. Okay. Yeah, hello Phoenix sir. How was your weekend? How was your weekend? Doing well, I hope. Time out, time out, Phoenix sir, what are you doing? <laughs> Phoenix sir dropping sub bombs right here. <laughs> Exactly, what a boss! Damn, thank you, Phoenixer, thank you! Thank you! Oh, damn, what a start of the day! Phoenixer's on fire! Probably I should figure out how to deal with that. No, but it's fine, but it's fine for now. Okay, thank you! Did I have anything else here that I would need information about? Mm, no. Well, I guess I'm gonna go talk to the grandma. If she's still fine, I hope. Hello, sweetheart. Hey, grandma, it got kinda late. Would it be okay if I stay the night? The grandma's like, no. Of course, dear, have a seat. I'll make you something to eat. Oh, you're the best. I'm starving. Okay. What did I get? Finished day three. Oh god, now Do what? Do you see? You are both unwanted. Both discarded. Good. Lick the flames, buddy boy. Lick the flames and feel the hatred burn. Lily's painting, burning, and the kid from the cemetery. It's gotta mean something.
He was right there. I know this isn't a horror game, but I'm scared. <laughs> I'm already super scared. Oh dear. Okay. I can do this. I can do this. Ooh. Let's go into the living room. If it's still the living room. Oh, good morning. Why is she here? What the... Morning. This is... Wow, this is... I told you she was shady. You have such a lovely friend, dear. We've been chatting all morning. Oh, I have no doubt. She's quite the talker, this one. You sleep even longer here than you do back home. Oh, gee, must be the blissful lack of distractions here, E. Can I talk to you for a sec outside, alone? Okie dokie, if your grandmother doesn't mind being left all by herself for a while. Sure, you go ahead, children. I'll grandmother right changed her dress, didn't she? Um. Is the concept of personal boundaries new to you? That's a rhetorical question, right? Was a single morning devoid of Eileen too much to ask? I'm frankly surprised that I'm allowed bathroom breaks by myself with you in the same building. I was super bored. Besides, you never got back home last night. I wanted to make sure mm -hmm. you were okay. Well, as you can plainly see, I'm not a corpse. Yet? You could be a very convincing zombie. Very funny. You can go home now, E. Fine. I won't tell you what I found in my research yesterday, then. Casual stalker? Oh, I yep. Hate you. I'm so glad you asked. I looked up a few statistics for this county, looking for any anomalies. First off, there's a high number of missing persons reports in the area. That wouldn't be too unusual if, let's say, the county had a high crime rate. But it doesn't. Violent crimes are actually lower than in other comparable counties. Huh. That's just outright creepy. It gets even better. It turns out that this county has the highest number of clinically insane in the state. And guess what? Conwell Springs County is tiny. Per capita, the difference to the county in second place is humongous, over a thousand percent. That makes some sense. I found out that this cocky person is locked tight at Ingstrom's. Wow, we should go talk to him, right? He must have some answers. That's the plan. I should probably fill you in on the rest I found. Rude gift box. <laughs> so, I'm gonna head over there today and confront Isaac about the paintings. Don't you think it's a bit risky, Kathy? It could just backfire and piss him off. Oh, I'm hoping it will. Nothing wrong with some good old provocation to make people show their true colors. You never gave him the picture of the lights, right? Nah, I didn't want the guy to faint. He sounded pretty brainwashed about the Holy Trinity thing. And none of the church people know who I am, right? I guess not. So? My point is that you grilled the priest good yesterday. You already tried it your way. I'm a fellow Christian. Maybe I could try something different, like make up a cute cover story and pretend to want to join their church. If he still won't trust me, I can show him my copy of the picture. Maybe it will make him open up. I just noticed I that, that Eileen, Eileen's boobs are huge. Before it gets too late. Look at them. Yay. Look at her boobs. Oh, let's do it. I'm so excited. They're enormous. I can't wait to lie to people. You know that's a sin, right? No, oh, I'm sure Jesus will make an exception this time. After all, he loves me. I'm not going to waste any time then. Hmm. Let's catch up on the phone tonight. Okie dokie. Talk to you later. But I wanted to talk to Grandma. What did you do with my Grandma? It won't let me do anything Hello, else on the side I've anymore. Been for you. Oh, is it for real this time? Yes, this is all very real. So you're going to ask me about Joseph now? How do you know that? Who told you? You did. Every time you came here. Oh you're not making God. any sense, Jimmy. We've never met before. I'm making perfect sense. Everyone says so. I'm the sharpest tool in the shed. All bets are off now, Missy. Better buckle up and enjoy the ride. Forget all the rules. No going from top to bottom. No checking off all the items on your list. Start by asking me 
about the young chronicler. <laughs>